Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss about a completely new topic, the hydrogen molecular ion. We all know about the hydrogen molecule. Hydrogen molecule consists of two hydrogen atoms having two protons and two electrons. The two hydrogen atoms are bound together through covalent bond. So what is this hydrogen molecular ion? It is actually a molecule, a cation. It has two protons but only one electron. Only one electron. That's why we call it as the simplest molecular ion. If we talk about its formation, then we have two types of methods. The one is when an hydrogen atom and a hydrogen nucleus bound together through covalent bond, they form hydrogen molecular ion. And the second and one is by the ionization of hydrogen molecule in molecular clouds by the action of cosmic rays. This was general information about hydrogen molecular ion, but our main concern is to find out the wave function for the only electron present in hydrogen molecular ion. We all know that electron is a fermion having half integral spin have anti-symmetric wave function. But you'll surprised to know that hydrogen molecule has symmetric as well as anti-symmetric wave function that is it may have symmetric wave function may have anti-symmetric wave function so in case of hydrogen molecular ion we'll talk about both cases that is symmetric and anti-symmetric and find out in which situation in which configuration the hydrogen molecular ion is most stable this is our main concern to find out in which case the hydrogen molecular ion is most stable from this wave function we can find out the energy of the system when this energy is minimum then bond will be stable and unstable in the other case because when an atom or here the hydrogen molecular ion has enough energy or higher energy then they become excited and they break the bond on the other hand when it has minimum energy then the molecule is in its ground state having stable configuration okay so we have psi the wave function of only electron wave function represents the wave associated with electron in case of symmetric wave function let's draw a figure we have a nucleus of hydrogen atom or we can say a proton which we call as A and another nucleus at some distance R and we call this nucleus as B. Both these nuclei share an electron. The distance between nucleus A and electron is RA and the distance between nucleus B and electron is RB. We have three cases when R is large compared to A node and when R is comparable with A node and the third one is when R is equals to zero. A node here is the radius of smallest Bohr orbit in the hydrogen atom. I have a question to you that tell me we have two stages when if the electron is present between these two nuclei or the electron is revolving around the nucleus in which case the molecular ion is stable what do you think in which case the molecular ion is stable whether when electron is present between the nuclei or when it is revolving around them okay the most stable state is when electron is present between the two nuclei because negative positive attract each other and on the other hand same negative positive attract each other so the attraction will become enough to make a bond to create a bond between them to make them stable okay but when the electron is uh, not between these two nuclei or evolving around the nucleus in this case 
no attractive force will be there because these two nuclei or the two protons are facing each other facing the same charge so there will be repulsion and this repulsion will result in the breakdown of one and the molecule will be unstable now let us consider the wave functions or waveforms of these symmetric case in first case where r is large compared with a naught wave function is similar to the form of 1s wave function of hydrogen atom we have already studied about the wave functions and wave forms so you may find it easy to understand in case of first proton so 1s wave function around proton a is called psi a and wave function around proton b is called psi b their combined wave function will be like this here you can see probability of finding electron is less between a and b when r is large when r is large then probability of finding electron between two nuclei of hydrogen molecular ion will be less if the distance between two nuclei decreases continuously and it reaches the form where r is comparable with a node then in this case there is an enhanced likelihood of finding the electron in the region between two protons as you can see in the figure that between a and b there is an increased likelihood of finding electron between them this shows sharing of electron by the protons so there is on the average an excess of negative charge between the protons and this attracts the protons together this is the situation the condition where hydrogen molecular ion is more stable but we have another case when r is equals to 0 then what will happen then when r is equals to 0 then protons are imagined to be fused together as in the case of helium ion now in this case the electron is now near a single nucleus its wave function will have the same form as hydrogen atom with a greater amplitude at the origin as you can see in the figure it has the same wave form wave function as the 1s wave function of helium ion similarly in case of antisymmetric wave function we consider three cases first when r is large compared with a not where wave function of electron near proton a is psi a and near proton b is psi b figure c shows combined wave function of the system which shows that there is no probability of finding electron between protons when r is large in antisymmetric case and when r is comparable with a node then there is a node between a and b where psi is equals to 0 which implies a reduced likelihood of finding the electron between protons we have studied in symmetric case when r is comparable with a node where there is an increased likelihood of finding the electron between two protons but in this case in antisymmetric case there is a reduced likelihood of finding the electron between protons now there is on the average a deficiency of negative charge between the protons and consequence a repulsive force in the presence of this repulsive force bonding cannot occur so we call this as anti bonding case now in last case where r approaches to 0 the antisymmetric wave function of electron shows somehow different behavior from figure you can see that psi a antisymmetric wave function does not become 1s wave function of helium ion but it approaches the 2p wave function of helium ion which has a node at the origin but the 2p state of helium ion is an excited state whereas the 1s state is a ground state so hydrogen molecular ion in antisymmetric case should have more energy than when it is in symmetric case because more energy is required to overcome repulsive forces between two protons 
From all above discussion, we conclude that bonding requires symmetric wave function. In case of symmetric wave function, when R is comparable with A node, the bond between hydrogen atom and hydrogen ion is stable. That is, the hydrogen molecular ion is stable in case of symmetric wave function. Thank you for your time and attention. I hope you all understand this really easy and interesting topic. But still, if you have any question, any doubt, you can ask. I'll try my best to clear your doubts. Good luck.